Okay, guys, so today we're taking a look at the smallest sniper in Modern Warfare 2. And as you can see in my operator's hand right now, it's very small. It's nowhere near the size that a sniper should be. It's got, like, no stock on it, like a 9-inch barrel. It's a very, very small gun. I'm going to take it into shipment and just see how it does play out. Okay, guys, so the game lied to me. It said it was shipment 24-7, but it's not a shoot-ass shipment. But we have got the smallest sniper right here. As you can see, it is literally so, so small in comparison to, like, a normal sni size sniper. Obviously, it looks a bit bigger when you're inspecting it because they make it look a bit bigger. But it's absolutely tiny. You can see it in the bottom right. It's so, so small. So I'm going to run about and try and get a load of clips of this thing, see what we can do with it. And then I'll probably just throw some of the best clips in that I do manage to get so you guys can see how it actually does play out and, like, the best bits that it'll do within a game. I mean, the ADS speed's pretty good, which you'd expect because it's literally a tiny sniper. It's got nothing to slow the ADS speed down on. But let's just see if we can pick up a couple of kills here. Okay, so it seems to be one shot in, which is obviously a massive W. That was one of my main concerns. Is the small sniper still going to be able to one shot? Oh, and it looks like it might get one or two hit markers here or there. Okay, so we need to, like, prepare ourselves to potentially be getting hit markers. Hello, mate. Just come flying around the corner at me at supersonic speed. So we do need to prepare ourselves for the fact that it actually might get a few hit markers every now and then. But majority of the time, it seems to be one shot. I mean, we've shot four people now. We've got a hit marker on one. Man's hitting the movement. His brother's come around. But yeah, let me go and get a bunch of clips of this thing. See how it does play out. And I'll show you guys the best clips that we do manage to get. There's another hit marker there. Bro, this thing doesn't shoot like a normal sniper. Oh my god, it's so weird. It's so weird. There's two. Been robbed again. I can't see. We're still going to hit a clip. Everyone's up top. Wait, what? Right, so I'll be honest. I'm really having to fight this gun to not get hit markers a lot of the time. Like, it's so inconsistent with what's a hit marker and what's not. And normally, the SAB-50 Iron Sights is one of the most overpowered classes because it's just so easy to use. But the way that this ADS is and locks onto people is so, so strange. Like, it honestly feels so weird, and I don't know what it is. Nice. See, it's weird. Like, there is a one-shot. Locks on. There is a hit marker. I can't even get a second bullet out of my gun. But that's what I mean by this gun so inconsistent. Like, I'm hitting, head I'm hitting like, reasonably long shots getting one-shot kills. And then I'm up close to someone getting hit markers. Like, I understand I hit a headshot into, like, a body shot, but... There, hit marker, hit marker. And then I'm shooting further away and I'm getting one-shot kills. The gun's a little bit inconsistent like that. And that's why you don't really build your snipers out to be the smallest they can be. Right, there's one. Again, the shot, like, the first shot, or even the way it just aims, is so different to a normal sniper. Even the normal SAB-50. Hit marker. I can't see him. He's in smoke. Laying down like a bitch. It just... I don't know, man. The first, the, the way it ADSs and starts shooting is, is so weird. I don't even know what it is, but it's so random. Get out of here, man. You've been sat in this part of the lot map the whole game. Like, move about a bit. You're sat in corners. Bro, everyone's weird in this lobby, man. Like, that's a one shot, and I hit him in the leg. He had to have been weak. Nice, good clip there. So, when people say to me, Harry, does class setups actually make a difference to the gun? Is there like better classes? Do they make a massive difference to like the standard class or whichever class I'm running? Because I find a lot of the people that end up commenting stuff like that on my videos aren't the best players, which is absolutely fine. But I just find that they're not the best players, and they're like, Harry, I don't think classes actually make that big of a difference. It just shows if I use my normal SAB 50 class, I will absolutely fry a lobby. I will get so many kills, no hit markers. It makes such a big difference. Whereas now I'm playing with this gun, which is obviously a bit of a challenge. It wasn't put together to be the best class. It was put together to be a bit of a challenge class. See how it plays, if the shortest gun or the shortest sniper in the game is actually any good or not. Turns out it's not that great. There's a lot of hit markers. You know, like I said, again, there you're getting hit markers. The ADS doesn't feel as good as normal because a lot of the tunings aren't like ADS based. A lot of the attachments don't really help the ADS too much. 
so you've got slower ADS, you've got less damage. The whole thing just doesn't feel as good as like my best personal SAB50 class. So if anyone does ever find themselves asking a the question, is there a best class for a certain gun? Like do attachments actually make that big of a difference? Does tuning make that big of a difference? Let this video be the answer to you. Like, yes, it makes a massive difference. Like, I don't even know how I'm missing all of them shots. Normally, I'd be snapping on. Because I don't know if it's due to some of the um, attachments taken away from, like, maybe recoil control or something like that that just affects how it ADS is in. I just don't really understand what makes this gun play so badly. But like I keep saying, if I compare it to, like, my normal SAV50 class that I run, it's so much worse. Like, it really, really isn't anywhere near on the same level as my normal SAV50. And don't get it twisted, you can hit some decent clips with this SAB. Like, you saw the one I got a minute ago with, like, four or five people in it. Like, you can hit clips, and it will have moments where it just absolutely fries, and it just seems to demolish everyone. Um, but there's other times where, like, that's what I mean by the ADS. Like, I felt like normally, how I'd normally snipe, he'd be centered there and he'd be dead. But with this class, it just seems to jump out at a really weird spot. I don't know what it is that's making it happen, but it really just doesn't play that great at all. No, oh, teammate, why are you taking my 360s away from me? But, like, even there, as you can see, the ADS wasn't, like... The ADS isn't rapid. Like, it's really not that fast. Have I got an SAB50 I can chuck on just to show you guys how my normal SAB50 should plays? Right, my normal Iron Sights class. Let me now switch that out. And look at the difference in the ADS speed. Like, I know I only showed it once or twice, but I'll show you at the end of the video as well. My normal SAB50 is one shot, it's quick, and I know it's going to do damage. Like, I know I'm not going to miss many shots of it. And look, look, this is the difference. I'm running around my normal SAB50. I would never have got them three kills with that other one. Like, this is the SAB50 that I run. And that's just... It's just so much better. Like, just way, way, way better. So, again, if you ever find yourself questioning, do a best class ups actually make a difference in this game? Are they going to give me the edge over someone who hasn't got their gun built out just as good as mine? Yes. Yes, it will make a massive difference. 100% it makes a difference. But like that there, the other SAB50 never would have felt. I've still got my one out because I've not died yet. But I'll, I'll go back to the other one. Um, but like I said, like if I just switch it back now, watch the ADS speed on this. It's nowhere near as snappy as that other one is. And it's just because the attachments I've got built on it aren't the best attachments to have on this gun. Like, they're just not. By no means are these the best attachments. Like I said, I put it together to be a challenge video. Yes, it's been fun. Yes, it still gets a couple of kills. Don't get it twisted. It's, it's not terrible. It's not the worst sniper class I've ever used in my life, but... It's not the best. It's not great. You get a lot of hit markers. The ADS feels very weird. It doesn't seem to center properly, like... I don't know. The gun just moves around a lot, and I don't really know why. Like, a hit marker there. I mean, I did shoot him in the leg, so it kind of is my fault. We'll get that through. That drill charge should get a kill. Maybe not. Another hit marker on the same guy. Let's see if we can put anything together here whilst they're all at sea. No, we just get a hit marker. Like, if I have my other SAB50, let me compare them real quick. Like, this is the, this is the ADS speed of this one that I've made out to be the shortest sniper in the game. And then this is my SAB50 that I'd normally run. I mean, it's night and day, the difference. The difference is, honestly, if you can't see the difference there, then I don't know for you, Chief. But, like, I mean, this is, my SAB50 is just way better. The smallest sniper in the game, though, was a lot of fun to use. Was it the best sniper? No. Was it a challenge? Yes. Did we have some fun with it? Yes. We managed to hit a nice clip with it that you guys would have seen as well. But let me get out of this game, and I'll show you the class that I was running for this SAB50. And then I'll show you my normal one, so you guys can use that as well if you want. Okay, guys, so the SAB50 that I'm using is there, and the normal SAB50 I use is there. So the SAB50 for the shortest sniper in the game, you can just see how short it is. Like, it's it's very, very short. It is, it's a very small gun, and it was fun to do as a challenge. I ran at the 9-inch barrel with a 1 milliwatt laser box, the XRK Spectre mod, the FSS ST87 bolt, and the armor-piercing ammunition. The tuning on the ammunition looks like that, and then the barrel tuning looks just like this. So if you did want to go ahead and try out this class for yourself, go ahead and do it. It is there on screen. And you can put this one together for yourself. So my SAB50 class is actually very close, which I've just realized is very similar, but it's obviously going to be tuned differently and it's got a couple of different attachments on it. But as you can see, I run the Schlager match grip for the rear grip. The tuning looks like that all the way down to ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. The nine inch barrel is tuned up to all the way to the recoil steadiness and the ADS speed there. So if you wanted to copy that one down, that is there. But that was the smallest sniper in Modern Warfare 2, guys. If you did enjoy today's video and you want to see more challenges like this, please do smash a big thumbs up as it really does help me out more than you can imagine. Let me know which other sort of challenges i should do in the comments and i'll go ahead and do them as soon as possible and if you're not really subscribed with notifications turn on make sure you go ahead and do that i appreciate what you're saying have a great day and i'll catch you on the next one in a bit Peace.